<laughs> game on. <laughs> game on. All right. So, okay, I, because there are so many others, but I think I don't want to overload you. Like, as I said, you know the mental state now, right? You know how to come up with your own stuff. All this worked for me because I'm a cheeky guy. I build myself as a cheeky guy. I wasn't. I was a really shy, boring guy, right? All of you can change if you want to, but you don't have to change, you don't have to become like me. We're not trying to create other allies here. We're not trying to create social robots. We want you to be yourself, right? But like, integrate some of this stuff into your own personality. As I said, it's a high risk, high reward strategy. Okay, so we've got about five minutes for questions. Go on. Go on, my man. Okay, so, so sometimes the risk doesn't pay off. What do you mean? Well, I don't know. I, if, if you are my cute, if you're you game somebody, and I don't know, she she gets pissed off by you know this kind of rapid ex uh, escalation. Yeah. I mean, has that happened? And of what course. what kind of reactions do you get, like negative ones? Okay, uh, my friend is asking about you know you took the risk, and you did this proper escalation. Uh, what if she you know is not born into it, and she gives you negative stuff? How do you deal with it? Yeah. It happens, yeah. Like uh, I can't give you a percentage. I, I don't really keep the track of this yeah. stuff. Um, I got. I never got slapped. I. Yeah, I never got uh, like told rudely to fuck off. Never happened. They say, no, I don't really like this. And you say, oh, you know, you can't do it. Because not everyone is gonna like this. Right? It's a high risk. You took it. it didn't work. It's like business. It doesn't work. Doesn't work. There's nothing you can do. Is that okay? Yeah. But as I said, like this is. A, you know, as I said at the very beginning, you need to know what you want. If that kind of a girl you want, and she didn't respond to it, just go to the next step. Uh, that and that. On the same note, because it's very rapid, you maybe haven't had a chance to assess who she's with. So if suddenly a boyfriend comes on the scene, you're rapidly escalating this girl. Uh, I got an interesting story about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I saw, I saw my ideal girl. I said, I want to have babies with this girl. Like, so I was like, I just want to have her babies. And like, oh, she is my baby. Okay. And I went up to her, I started talking to her, and then the boyfriend came in. And I looked at it, I said, dude, this girl is so hot, I'm in love with her. Um, are, you are you planning to dump her? She said, cool. said, you know, although I'm kind of bored with her like, after three years, but no, she's going to be my wife. And we talk, and she's a good friend of mine now. And as well as him. Right, it's just all I have to deal with the situation. Uh, question? Yeah, um, normally, you speak of how what, what, what sort of things do you normally say to a woman in order to uh, bounce her from the venue back to your place? The reason I ask is because it seems to be um, there's two sides of the fence to this one. There's guys who say um, you should go saying you know indirectly, <coughs> or know that you blatantly want to have sex with her because she might get you know that uh, anti-slap defense mechanism inside of it. You know, so rather, rather you know they recommend that you suggest going back to your place to watch uh, this really funny YouTube clip or whatever. Uh, but then there's other PUAs who actually go really direct and say, look, I'm just out to have sex tonight. If you're up for that, cool. If not, you know, or whatever. And they're very blatant. What I'm confused about. Let me, yeah, let me sound like that. Okay, my friend's asking you, how do you bounce a girl? What kind of technique would you use? Like, kind of a last kind of a you know, routine or sentence to take them to your place? Um, you know, you say, do you need to suggest something like go and get me food? Or do you say blatantly, you know, let's just go have sex? Either one works, right? It depends on your personality, right? Uh, I use, I, I, like as I said, if you feel the sex is normal, it's going to happen, right? So <coughs> do you ask your girlfriend for sex? Yeah, um, you know, say, do you don't say, hey baby, let's go ahead and get food. You don't say, uh, let's go have sex, just go home and have sex, mm. right? Either one would work, depending on your personality, depending on your, on your game. That's if you're, all, <coughs> it's a little cheap in it when you say to a girl, let's go. Back some girls love that, some girls love that. Yeah, some girls. Like you say, you just look at them. I had that experience. I said, I look at her. I said, I'm romantically and sexually interested in you. She said, you want to have sex with me? I said, yes. She looked at me. She thought about it. I said, okay, let's just go and do it and see if we are compatible. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's only been 10 minutes. I was like, okay. Not much sense to it, but is there a way that you calibrate it, for example? I mean, maybe it's pretty obvious. But it's common sense. You wouldn't know it. You wouldn't know yeah. it. I mean, like, there are lots of compliant. Oh, as I said, today is my subject is not about, you know, Checking things up, just kind of these are kind of uh, stuff that like, yeah, techniques and like a uh, group of techniques that you can use. Yeah. And other bits and pieces like if she gives you resistance and stuff, uh, my friend Peter is going to come up here. Talk, we're going to talk about rejection, let them and what have you. There are different ways of the different levels of rejection. Um, you can answer some of this stuff. But as I said, 
because I have to cut it uh, now. I, I'm going to get one last question. I'm going to cut it because um, Kezo is going to kill me. You want man? How do you work it on a mixed set? It sounds like what you're saying. You can just do it either single women or groups of women. Yeah. How would you work with stuff on a mixed set? Okay, the mix is a little different. Um, I still use like um, a sexualized way of opening the guy. I said, dude, I'm going to say something. It's going to sound kind of gay. Um, but I love your shoes, man. It looks fucking sexy. Or your hair kind of stuff. Where do you get that? Where do you get that? Right? I'm flirty even with guys. Not on a sexual way, but flirty. You know, you know, taking piece out of them a bit. You know, you just complimenting them and stuff like that. And then from there onwards, they just jump. Because I think I wrote a blog about this and about, you know, how to open mixed sets through the guy. If you go and check uh, Kezia's website, you can see that. You ask the guy to introduce you. It's, it's the most powerful. You say, you know what? Later on tonight, I don't want to be accidentally hitting on your, on your girlfriend. So which one is it? And he says, I oh, know, that one is my girlfriend. Rest is just fair play. So you introduce me, man. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like, believe me, guys are cool. When you're cool with them, they do that. I, I always open mixed sets that way. So dude, I just got to say, you know what? I don't want to be accidentally hitting on your girlfriend. I'm sure she's hot. So which one is it? It's very simple. Very simple. And guys, thank you very much.